Let's talk about Elon Musk's Starlink, because while the world gets faster internet from space, South Africa is still buffering. Elon Musk's Starlink promises high-speed internet beamed directly from satellites, a literal game-changer for rural areas, underserved towns and developing nations. In countries like Nigeria, Kenya, Rwanda, Starlink is already live and thriving. But South Africa? Not yet. Why? Politics, policy and control. Starlink needs a license to operate here, and it's not just about approval. South Africa's Independent Communications Authority, ACASA, wants at least 30% local ownership of the service to comply with equity and empowerment laws. And Starlink? They haven't budged. No local partner. No green light. Meanwhile, rural schools, clean entrepreneurs across the country struggle with slow speeds and unstable access. This isn't about luxury internet. It's about digital inequality. Starlink could connect the disconnected, level the playing field and drive real economic inclusion. But instead, we're stuck in a red tape standoff, policy versus progress, national regulation versus global innovation. And ironically, Elon Musk was born in Pretoria, but Starlink might connect the continent before it connects his own birthplace. This is bigger than broadband. It's about whether South Africa wants to lead the digital future or keep buffering behind it. This is Opinion Override, where we don't just stream the future, we question who's allowed to access it.